What's good, YouTube? This your boy, J Diggy 92 Coming at y'all with another discussion vid. If y'all watch the uh, vacation rotation, y'all know I, I kind of slightly hinted at making this vid. And then with a little slight hint, I kind of said that sounded like a good-ass topic. So we gonna fuck with it. And so as y'all can see in the title, we talking about Drake. Leaving Jordan to go to Adidas, but then it's falling through, and now he going back to Jordan, nigga. We don't, sneaker community just all assed out. We don't know what the fuck going on. We don't know what to look forward to no more. So, I know some of y'all might be like, nigga, how do you even know this nigga is leaving Adidas? Like, the nigga ain't even start with Adidas. So, boom. Unless you've been living under a motherfucking rock. Nigga, Drake was beefing with Push. Now, personally, I think Push and T1, they talking about some Drake track. They, uh, was somebody, Prince, Nick, somebody, print something. Um, something Prince, some, print something. I don't know what the fuck the nigga name is. Told Drake not to release after Push T. Um, hit him with the story of Adidon, right? I think that's the nigga name. Adidon, Adonis, yeah, Adonis, story of Adonis, right? I think his son named Adonis. So, hit him with that, nigga. And it's a bar in there. Push talks about, um, I guess, like, you hiding your son from the world, nigga. He deserved more than just a clothing run, a sneaker run, some shit. I put the bar up, like, Right now, just put put it up. Border Patrol. Ooh. Adonis is your son, and he deserves more than an Adidas press run. That's real. All right, so he says that, right? And so this the little run he talking about, the little clothing shit, whatever you talking about, royalties, whatever he said, I forgot. Um, he talking about Drake with Adidas coming out with a brand called Adidon, right? For his son, it's after his son. I guess like his son gonna get all the checks from it or some shit, or like it's after his son because it's Drake first kid, so we know of. Nigga, we don't really know, but uh, this Drake first kid, um, and so like he he going all out, he going the DJ Khaled route, but it's just he didn't speak on it. It pushed the T kind of ruined this moment. So with that being said. Drake was supposed to release a song. It ain't happened, nigga. So push a T1 by default, I guess. Cause we ain't gonna never hear the Drake track. Um because Prince something told him not to release it. So with that being said, the rumors keep going, shit keeps spilling out, and then it said that Kanye West the reason Pusha T knew about Drake's son. And of course, y'all know Kanye and Adidas is like this right now. That nigga about to be a damn billionaire. I thought Kanye was canceled. I ain't say it personally, nigga. I love Yeezys and I love Yeezus. Um, I say Yeezus. I mean Yeezy. Not, I ain't mean to say Yeezus. Only one Jesus. But uh, Yeezy and I love his shoes. So I never said it. Shade room. Everybody talking about the nigga canceled, but he made one point something billion, nigga. How that work, I don't fucking know. But, um, yeah, so there's that. And then, so I guess all that shit playing in Drake head. Like, nigga, how the fuck am I going to a brand? Nigga, it's pretty much your music on that side, nigga. For real, for real. Pussy T got his own shoe yeah. over there. Nigga, Kanye got his own shoe over there. All we need is two chains to get a shoe with Adidas, nigga. And we booming shit. I don't know. He might have had one already. I know Big Sean got Adidas. Right. So it's like all the good music is fundamentally in Adidas. And like everybody else is like Nike and shit. Like if you're not with good music, you kind of Nike sad. Um, if you if you higher up, you get Nikes. If But I don't know. With the shifting balance of powers, nigga, Adidas might be up. And Nike kind of looking down a little bit. But, I mean, it's just my personal opinion. But so, with all that going, Drake, he drops uh, the In My Fat. 
Phyllis Tyler, nigga. Kiki, do you love me? Are you ready? Nigga, I, I'm so tired of hearing that fucking song now. That's why I said it like that. Nigga, I'm not doing a challenge on this channel. I know I did the, uh, some other challenge a long time ago. Nigga, drop the clip right now. My heart racing like an eternal craving. Her love is what I'm chasing. She like my better half when you do the math. And not just cause the ass is stupid fat. So yeah, I did that challenge. Um, while well, I'm actually freestyling it, I wrote a whole verse. But uh, yeah, I'm not doing that in my feelings shit. No, that shit is dead. But um, yeah, so he dropped in my feelings zone, and the nigga said in a verse, that video is fire, by the way. Um, we just gonna put it up right now. Jesus Christ, yeah. Checks over stripes, yeah. That's what I like. Yeah. That's what we like. Yeah. So the nigga said I prefer checks over, if I'm not mistaken, he said I prefer checks over stripes. Nigga, something to that effect. So where are you like? That was a shoe play in the vid. The nigga had the fire red fives on. Nigga, we ain't seen this nigga Drake and Jordans for a long ass time. This nigga been rocking the shit out of Adidas. Which, I mean... People saying you thinking too much into it if you really think that one bar was about Jordan and Adidas brand. Excuse me. But honestly, the nigga Kanye made a whole song about Nike, nigga. Like, why wouldn't you drop a subtle hint in your music to let your fans know, like, I'm not fucking with these niggas. I'm back with Jordan. So, my thing was... um I think Pusha T kind of ruined it for everybody, um, unintentionally because the nigga was beefing, um, but at the same time, I really would have liked to see an Adidas Drake collab, I would have loved to see the materials, I would have loved to see that OVO owl on the back of something, nigga, like a, a Drake Kanye collab, I would have loved to see that on some fucking Yeezys, nigga, like, I felt like that shit would have had limitless possibilities. Shit, Drake might have got his own damn model. Um, but now, we'll never know. At least in my personal opinion, I don't think Drake going to be signing with Adidas anytime soon. And he went back to Nike um, just because, I mean, a rack of good music is on that side. And the head nigga at Adidas is like Kanye right now. So, I mean... It may have fucked his money up a little bit, and now he got to, unfortunately, go back with Nike because it's always been between Nike and Adidas. I ain't really heard nobody else get mentioned like um, like any other brands, like Vans. and It's a stretch, but your core fans got to gravitate towards Vans. That's why, like, Tyler Creator can have Vans because his core fans, like, like vans like i'm not i'm not saying shit wrong like i'm telling the damn truth y'all know i am but yeah um how i personally feel about this man i don't know like i ain't gonna fake i'm kind of let down because i really really wanted to see uh a drake adidas collab a drake pharrell collab a damn drake Yeezy collab, nigga, uh, a Drake Ultra Boost, a Drake NMD, shit, we might have got a whole new damn model, the clothing, nigga, we would have had OVO owls everywhere, nigga, S sweatsuits galore, nigga, like, I just thought it would have been fire, um, Adidas knowing them, they probably just gonna put it out without Drake's attachment to it, and, um, We'll still get the stuff we just won't know. It was supposed to be Drake's line. Because, I mean, you're not going to throw away a whole product just because the nigga ain't coming over. They might 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 make, like, minor adjustments. But I, it really sucks for, like, real sneaker heads that really like Drake collabs. Like, I got one pair of OVO 8s. And I think them shits hit. I love the black and the gold and the brown. Like, that shit is flames to me. But, like... I don't, I would have loved to seen that on an Adidas shoe, and then like Toronto colorways and all that, sh I don't know, but I mean, maybe going back to Jordan brand ain't so bad, but we, we just gonna, I feel like we still gonna get like the same bullshit with Jordan brand, like, it's gonna be a black shoe and a white shoe, like, that's gonna be the OVO pack, a black shoe 
and a white one. Like, there's, there's you're not going to branch off none of that shit. I feel like Adidas is more, they let you be as creative as possible and control your own shoe. Nike, they be like, look, nigga, here's an eight. Make one in black and white. That's all you got. Finesse that shit. We'll throw the aisle somewhere. And, um, yeah, we'll put some we'll put some good materials on it. That's about it. But other than that, man, I, I just wish I wish this shit wouldn't have happened. <laughs> yeah, it gave us some good music, but nigga, I wanted the shoes, nigga. The shoes would have been fire. But I know I'm rapping long enough, nigga. This vid already eleven minutes long. Uh, hopefully I'm not too bright for y'all, nigga. I got my lights like right here. But uh yeah, man, I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching this vid. Leave your comments down below. If you think the nigga really going to join brand, you think he's still fucking with Adidas high key, um, or you think I'm just reading too much into it and you don't give a damn. I mean, that's cool. That's your opinion. Just watch how you say that shit, my nigga, because you will get blocked. But, uh, yeah, man, thank y'all for watching this. I hope you hit the thumbs up, that like button, and you subscribe for your boy if you ain't subscribed already so you can join the motherfucking God Squad. Because we the best squad on YouTube. Y'all already know that shit. Konnichiwa, motherfucker, all that good shit. Um, you want to follow me on anything, any social media, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all that. JDiggy92. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Shout out to the art page. Finesse God. Masterpieces, man. Go cop y'all some dope art. I take consignments. I got another piece I'm working on for the homie right now. Um, try to pump that shit out by Sunday um, so I can get it to her. But yeah, man. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all so much for watching. Go watch all the other vids, cuz. Go watch the vacation rotation, the vlog, the clothing pickup, nigga, the discussions on Travis Scott. I'm not listening to that motherfucking album. I tried. I thought of the first, I said I thought of the first three songs I thought was butt, so I ain't listening to the rest of them shit. Don't at me, nigga. But, uh, yeah, man, I love y'all. I know I'm wildin'. I love y'all. I just, it's just nice to be back in the video mode, nigga. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Like I always say, I will see y'all when I see y'all.